Hi folks, I welcome you to the training videos from TimeNet. Today we will see an advanced management option for Active Directory in Windows Server 2008 R2. We will see how to take a snapshot of Active Directory. Active Directory snapshots are actually a way to see how the Active Directory database look like at the moment of the snapshot creation. What objects were there and other type of information at the time of the creation of that particular snapshot. With Active Directory snapshots, you can view the data inside such a snapshot on a domain controller without the need to restart the server to a directory services restored mode. I hope you are aware of the directory services restored mode which helps us to re restore Active Directory from a backup that we have. So in the case of di directory snapshots, we do not have to go to the directory services restore mode and uh, you don't have to restore it like the usual backups. What you can do is, you can mount the Active Directory database to an existing running Active Directory live Active Directory server and you can use another ports which, which are not used by Active Directory or any other programs that are running on your computer and you can, you can connect to this Active Directory snapshot using a LDAP tool. You can either use Etsy Edit or you can use LDP tool to see the existing or to see the objects or see the properties of the objects that were there at the time of the creation of the sna snapshot. Active Directory snapshots can be used as a method of recovery and can be automated. Now let's see how we can configure it and how it works. I am now logged on to a domain controller called DZ1 and I have created an Active Directory domain inside it. I have a couple of users inside it. Let's have a look. Uh, these are the users and groups that I have in my uh, Active Directory and I have a couple of organizational units also. To start the process of creating snapshots of Active Directory, you have to get the command prompt. So type in CMD in the search program and files right click and click on run as administrator from there you have to make sure that you are in windows system 32 and now you can go to ntds util by typing in ntds util and then you have to press enter now you are in ntds util and uh, to go to snapshot you have to click on snapshot and press enter now you are in the snapshot tool and uh, type in create and you will get a message saying that active instance is not set. For this you have to you have to make the instance of active directory as NTDS which which is the which will be the instance of active directory you have to uh, you have to type in active instance NTDS and press enter and you will get a message saying that active instance is set to NTDS. After this you will get back to the snapshots tool and you have to type in create and this will create the first snapshot for your active directory database so you'll get a message saying that snapshot set and an identifier has generated successfully now to see all the snapshot that we have already created you have to type in list all and press enter then you'll see first the identifier and set second the snapshot database so uh, you have to, to mount the database which you have created you have to type in the name of the database name that is mount2 that means the second one is the name of the database you have to type in mount2 and the snapshot is mounted and you can see it inside the C drive so I'll go to my computer and I will expand C drive and you will see the drive there you have to open it you have to go to windows and inside windows you will see a folder called ntds and inside ntds you will see the ntds.dit file which is the database of active directory and which is actually in this case it is the snapshot of the original database so it is a copy of the original database so you have to take the uh, path of that uh, database so that we can use it for mounting it and uh, we can get back to the command prompt and uh, there you can type in dsa main which is next tool you have to quit from the snapshot and ntds util first and then you have to type in dsa main and uh, space hyphen db path and space 
and inside codes you have to give the complete path of the database means the database file of the snapshot that we have taken the copy and uh, I have just I have to put the name of the file now slash ntds.dit and I have closed the quotes and now space hyphen LDAP port this is the port number which we are specifying for this particular snapshot which will through which we will connect the active directory tools to the database to the snapshot database so that we can compare it with the actual database which is running so uh, here for that I will type in space hyphen LDAP port space 10389 which is not a used port in my computer and uh, I will press enter and it will, it will give me a message saying that Microsoft Active Directory domain services started completely and uh, it also will show me the version we can just uh, minimize that command prompt and uh, go to Active Directory users and computers and we can check how we can uh, connect to this snapshot so we will uh, right click on the domain and click on change domain controller now it is connected to winserver1.contoso.com which is the default domain controller and uh, there we can type in the diff customized port number and the server name so we will type in winserver1.contoso.com and we will give the customized port number which is 10389 so winserver1.contoso.com colon 10389 and when we hit enter we will see that the status of that domain controller is online that is because in the same server in the port 10389 the snapshot is available so we have to select that and click on ok so that our console is connected to winserver1.condoso.com to the port 10389 now if you browse through the things you will be able to see all the uh, organization units and users in the snapshot itself uh, if you open the users or comp the properties of the users or any other objects you will be able to see that it is not changeable so it is it is a uh, read-only database if you uh, go to the default domain that is winserver.condosor.com which directly connect to the default domain that we have in this computer and you will be able to compare the users and the objects in the snapshot and in the original domain one is connected to the snapshot and the this one is connected to the original domain which is running so if you open uh, the properties of the users in the snapshot it will be uh, read only as it is here and if you connect if you try to take the properties of normal user in the normal uh, active directory it will be changeable so this is how we can compare things and make changes accordingly now let's see how we can disconnect and disable and delete these snapshot databases to disconnect the databases you have to do nothing more than uh, a control C on your on your command prompt where your snapshot is running and the command prompt which we have minimized earlier in that command prompt you have to type control C and you will get a message saying that active directory domain services was shut down successfully this does not mean that your actual domain controller your uh, your original domain is down it says that the connection to the snapshot is down so now you can um, go to the NTDS util before that just check in the C drive whether the snapshot is still mounted yes it is mounted and uh, if you if you uh, go to the snapshot util and try to get the list of mounted databases by list mounted command you will be seeing that the snapshot is still mounted and it is there it exists there so to unmount the database you have to use the unmount command unmount to I will use then the snapshot will be unmounted and now you will not see the snapshot inside the C drive now you can check whether the snapshot exists so so I will type in list all and the snapshot is there and to delete the database to delete the snapshot completely I can use the delete command by typing in delete space 2 this will delete the snapshot from the database so you will not be able to uh, get this database to mount or to connect to it so now if you check list all snapshots found and if you check for list mounted 
it will also give the same message no snapshots now I can quit from the entity as util and I can close this window now my server is free from snapshots there is no snapshots or there are no mounted snapshots in my server this is how you use snapshots to uh, as a reference for your active directory databases and you can use it for recovery and uh, while you are uh, recovering your server from a previous um, backup you can uh, refer to a snapshot if you have a snapshot uh, you can refer to a snapshot and you can check whether the properties of all your objects are equal thank you for watching this video uh, i hope this was uh, informative for you and for more videos and online training facilities please log on to www.timenet.co.in to get more details about our real time training facility the cpoc lab you can visit facebook slash cpoc lab www.facebook.com slash cpoc lab it is a dedicated page for uh, cpoc lab you will get updates about uh, all the facilities that we have in there and uh, i would like to thank you once again um, thank you for watching